and welcome back to my channel. I am Cynthia Kensington and I'm a mind and body coach. Today I'm going to take you guys through a complete beginner friendly class. So if you're ready, come along with me. We're going to turn on to our sides today to begin. I'm just going to scoop myself to the back of my mat. Hand comes to the sides of the body. Big inhale. And as you exhale, just fold and roll the body forward. Suck on your knees here. Head feels heavy and your hand feels heavy as well. Inhale there. And exhale nice and slow. Stack the spine coming back up. Pushing the pubic bone forward. Coming up to a standing position. Let's go again. Inhale, nod the chin to chest. Exhale, roll the spine down. And bring it up. and take it down again. All your weight is transferred to the front of your body. You don't want anything to feel like it's tight here. So just let your body flow. One more, soften the knees. No crease in the back of your neck. Weight to the front. Hold on to both elbows here for me. Go from side to side. Side to side. And one more, side to side. Release the hands, stack the spine, coming back up, push your pubic bone forward and coming up to a standing position. Okay, I'm going to bring myself to the front of my mat and we're going to sit nice and slow. Soles of your feet connected, push your breastbone forward, hand comes in front of you like so. Pull your navel in where it feels like a slight tightness but of course you are the one controlling the tightness heels slightly closer to your bum hinge the upper body down and take it forward we're warming up the midsection down and forward shoulders away from your ears and down and forward and give me three more and lift Two more back and forward. One more back. Hold. Hold just for six seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Stack the spine up. Place your hand down. Scoop my bum even more forward. Imprint the spine nice and slow onto the ground. Hand comes to the sides of your body. Slide your heels closer to your bum. Lift your pelvis up to the ceiling. And take it down. And lift it up. And down. Lift and scoop up. And lift. Everything we're doing, as far as my counting goes, we're gonna do is six. Six. That's our fifth one. This is our last one. Hold it there for me. Keep pushing, pushing your heels into the ground. Push into your big toes as well. And hold. Your hand comes to the side still. Hold it up. And breathe. Hold. And breathe. Okay, take the bone down. Hug the knees to chest for me. Go from side to side. Okay, both leg comes to tabletop. Hand comes to the sides of your body like so. And just tap the right leg down and lift it up. As you're tapping, you can use your left hand or your right hand. Put it behind you like so. Just so you make sure there is no gap in your lower back. And lift up. And tap. And lift up. Keep the leg going. If And tap. Up. Tap. And down. Give me two more. One on each side. If last one 
and down. Oh, hard thing to suggest for me. Okay, place the right leg down, place the left leg down. Hand goes behind your head, interlacing your fingers. Let your head feel heavy in your palms. You're going to take a big inhale. And as you exhale, you lift your head and chest off the ground, almost like an out crunch. Take it down. And lift up. Down. And three more. Two more. Last one, lift, and then you're going to hold it here, hold. And as you're holding, you haven't let your abdominals go, you're still working on them, you're still pulling, pulling and pulling it in and upwards, hold, and take it down. Big inhale. And as you exhale, you lift. Twist to the right. Center, twist to the left. Center. As you're twisting, it's like rib cage to pubic bone. So it's a small twist. Nothing too dramatic here. Just twist back. And twist back. And. And. And to the right, and to the left. Hold it at the center for me and hold. I know your abdominals are screaming, but just hold it for me and take it down. Hand comes to the sides of your body. I'm gonna fix my hair. <laughs> Slip the pelvis up to the ceiling and squeeze up. Okay, from there, you're going to lift the right leg up and tap it down. Keep the pelvis stable. Feel free to place your hands just so you know. And down. Don't drop the bar, so keep lifting. And down. Give me three more. And down. Two. And one. Lift up. Readjust. Left side, six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Place the bum down, drop the knee to the left, center, drop it to the right. Side to side, left and right. If you've got the space, work with what you've got, left and right. Okay, both legs at the center. Right leg comes to tabletop, straighten the leg up to the ceiling. Send it down in line with the left knee and bring it back up. Remember the lower back, the gap I spoke about, Again, take your hand and place it there. You don't want any gap. That's the only time you know you scoot your abdominals in and up. As I always say, in and up. Give me two more. And one more. Bend the right knee, place it down. Go for the left side. Straighten it up to the ceiling. Reach, 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 reach out of that leg. Take it in line with the right leg, knee. And up. Six. Five. You want to imagine someone is pulling this leg away from you. So you feel that lengthening and, you know, stretching out of that leg. And up. Give me three more. No, yeah, three more. <laughs> Two more. Those of you that know me, no counting is not my best. One more. Bend the knee. Place the leg down. Okay, straighten the left leg out here for me. Right leg goes to tabletop. Take it across the body and just go for a nice 
stretch here and just pull that leg away. Gaze in, go to the opposite side and just breathe. Bring it to center. Straighten the right leg. Left leg comes to tabletop and just twist to the other side. Gaze goes to the opposite side as well. And breathe here. And then center. Hug both knees to chest. Side to side. Okay. Place the right leg down. Place the left leg down. Both elbows go down. Just like the same way we, we brought ourselves down. We're going to bring ourselves back up. So your elbow is what's pushing you. And then you come into a nice seated position. Widen your leg just as wide as your mat. Nothing too wide here. Flex your ankles. Hand comes in front of you like so. Pull your navel in. Not the chin. Roll the spine down to where it feels comfortable. We don't want the shoulders here. We want them here. And then stack it back up. And then go again. This is very much introduction to Pilates, I would say. So if you've never really tried Pilates before, just go with, I wouldn't say easy, but it's just, this just gives you some awareness of your body and how you move. Okay. And then eventually you can try the more challenging ones on my channel. Feel free to, yeah, check them out. And of course, let me know what you guys think. Roll the spine down and forward, back up and down and bring it back up. One more, roll it down for me and bring it up. Place the hand down, bring your knees in and just swing it round. Go into all fours here for me. Hand underneath shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And we're just going to go for a nice cat cow stretch inhale pull the chest in and exhale travel through center breastbone goes forward let's go again and, and again and let's do one more time right here and okay stay at the center tuck the left toe under send the leg straight and slide it through back and forward and forward three more two one Place the knee down, go for the other side. Find your center line. You don't want to sway too far to the left and you don't want to sway too far to the right. You keep that, your gaze on this imaginary line in, uh, in between your mat. But if you're lucky enough to have a line down your mat, then just use that as a guide. And one more and place that knee down. Go into a rest position. Walk your hands away from you as much as you can, side to side for me. And just breathe. Okay. Let's come back into all fours. And from there, you're going to tuck the left toe under, send the leg straight. This time around, we're going to lift the leg up, point your toe, reach out of that leg for six, five, four, three, two, one. Slide the knee in the next side. Six, five, four, three two one knee comes in go for the other side but this time around we're working with our arms okay opposite hand arm in front <laughs> and lift up six 
five, four, last one, place it down, go for the other side, opposite arm goes in front again, lift up, down, Last one, place it down, drop the knee, melt your bottom to your heels and face the camera and you just take your wrist off the ground and reverse the rotation, rotate and reverse. Okay, you can place your hands to the side of the body, go for a big inhale, shrug your shoulders to ears and exhale, drop, big inhale and exhale. Big inhale and exhale. Last one. Expand the rib cage and exhale. Let it all go. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me today. Don't forget that you have to keep your exercises going in order to see the dynamics of your body change. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Whatever you choose to do today, have an amazing day. And I'll see you guys on the mat soon.